Okay, so last time we mixed up the paints, so we have those all ready to go in our various uh, uh, values of, of red or orange. Red, orange, I guess is what it is as we look at this one. And I have uh, available, I have, this is the original photograph. I have the one that's broken down here into the uh, different values, the five different values, dark, 75%, 50%, 25%, and then 100% white on those on light that we go in here so we're going to use the, this as a guide we're going to use this as a guide and then we're also going to use the drawing as a guide as well as we start to put those in as uh, we normally do with the dark uh, we start with the dark colors on those and so uh, let's jump into it now this one as i look here on the back side of this tomato the darkest area might be right in here and some in here and so we're going we're gonna to force it a little bit here. We're going to make it darker than it actually is, um, just so we can have high contrast. And so we designated this area back here as our dark brown area. So I'm going to grab some paint here and stick it into this dark brown area. And I have my value shapes there to use as a guide. And this applies much like what we did with the other paintings when we did cubes and spheres the tomato is actually just a sphere and it has the shadows on it going in a slightly different direction than our first painting we worked on and so I'm just applying dark brown into here now sometimes the paints um, the the gesso kind of shows through a little bit uh, on those and so sometimes you need two coats um, with that and so that's our dark brown the core shadow on our um, our painting of the tomato on that and so that's this area right in here uh, that we see here I'm looking on it here it's just a little bit of there the interesting thing about the changes from the from the photograph to the value separations you lose some of the detail things that are in there like there's a little bit of a, of a light area right here and maybe a little bit of reflected light here and we know that's there because we can see it but it doesn't show up in this one and thus it doesn't show up in this one so we may have to go back in and and put those in there for us okay so that's just the, I'm gonna do one tomato at a time on this one so we know what we're doing and so I'm to clean off my brush I gotta get rid of my dark brown or at least some of it and just by pinching that out, you can pinch out your extra stuff. And then I'm going to set that up over here. All right, let's go on to the next, uh, the next lightest value, and that's our this one here, this 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 brown orangey thing. And it takes up most of this area. As I look at it, there's a little bit of cast shadow on that, and so that's this piece right here. And I drew that in there. If you didn't draw it in, you can still add the cast shadow in there like that. And for the most part, uh, this is going to come up like this and form kind of an edge. And now I just got to fill this. Now there was another little bit of cast shadow, actually. It looks like it's kind of behind here, but I have a little bit too much stuff uh, in the way on that one. We'll have to come back and, and, and see if there's room for that. And now let's just fill in the paint. Now this paint may be, um, it's a big area, look at that, big area that we have to color. And this is this part right here. Awesome. Woohoo! Alright. And let's get going. So that's the, the filling in the value shape that we made there. Also remember, um, if you if you happen to have forgotten, before you start your painting, if you're still working on your drawing, remember to use a spray fix on your drawing so that the, the graphite or charcoal, whichever you're using, does not uh, get into the paint and form a shade of the paint because it'll make it slightly darker. There we go. 
filling that in. That's a good thing. Okay, so we filled in the value sheet, and it's a pretty good, a pretty good, you know, a uh, pretty good look on this one. And so remember, for blending, what we're going to do, I'm going to clean off my brush, pinch it and squeeze it out a little bit. Hopefully, I'm not getting paint all over everywhere. And then for blending, is you paint along the seam, uh, the division between them. So I'm painting right here over that, and so I get paint on one side, and I get paint on the other side, and we kind of blend them together. Now, when you just paint over top, it kind of makes it soften that, that edge between there, backy, forthy, backy, forthy. And then you can actually paint into this part a little bit with what's on your brush, maybe paint back into the other way on that. So as you paint over the seam, pull some of the brown onto the orange and pull some of the orange maybe onto the brown, uh, depending on how things are going, because we wanted a smooth transition on those. And so this is starting to feather in a little bit more. That's cool on our edge. Let's get down here and get this blended in. Because we want those to we want those to have a smooth blend so our tomatoes look rounded. That's an important piece. But there there are some irregular areas uh, on that one as we start to go forth. Like as I'm sitting in here and I'm looking at this, I know that there's just a little bit of darker brown right in there. So I'm going to grab just a, just a smidgen of it and maybe pull that like here. So this one doesn't show it. This one shows it's a little bit darker brown maybe right here. And so I'm just pulling some of that here to blend it into our overall tomato shape of things on those. And so I'm looking at this stuff here. Um, Let's do this too while we're at it. Let's go just a little bit of this medium value here because it's slightly lighter and there's a spot right here. And so there's kind of a spot right here as we start to look. And so let's blend that little spot a little, I don't know, it's a little bit of a reflected light, right? So the light's coming back here. It's maybe hitting the, hitting the tomato over here, it's shooting back over this side. And there might be a little bit of reflected light here as well. And so I'm gonna go get that other value and if I can point my head kind of sideways so I can see where that value is, that little bit of a change, I can blend that in to my overall painting. And then we also talked a little bit about um, up over here maybe a little bit of reflected light as well. Now that's not a big value change there. It's real subtle on that one. And so that, that's working pretty good for us. Let's see if there's any other. I got that one. I got this one maybe down over here is what I was trying to draw or paint in there. And tomatoes are mostly round. We don't want to have a big bump on it. So I got to either bring that in like that. And then uh, go ahead and feel free, like I said, to kind of move around a little bit so you, you don't get the reflection from your, 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 your painting on that one. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I'm just going to get a, a dot of, of that. That was the 25 percenter, right? And, and I just wanted to mix a little bit of that in so that we could see that reflected light section right back over here. This spot right here, okay? This little spot right here, we needed to put that in. And so I put a dot of the 25 percenter in there, and I'm just kind of blending it across. So it has a smooth transition. It's pretty soft in here uh, on being able to see that uh, as well. And I may be putting a little bit right there. Maybe like that. So there's a little bit of highlight uh, on that, a little bit of lighter area back over there. Once again, maybe some reflected light from the other thing. And so that's looking pretty good. And so um, that sh kind of shows a little bit of the departure. This is one of the difficulties you're going to have. If you don't have the complete value drawing, you're going to see some things, uh, particularly if you're just using this, you're going to have some areas that are kind of kind of different. Okay, so now we're going to hit the part that is most of the tomato right here, right? It's in light. And that's going to be the middle value here, and so I'm going to bring that in, and let's paint that in, 
and we paint right up to the edge of the other. And this is also going to be the, the one that is most most out of the two, straight out of the tube, right? Uh, on, on those. And it's going to be a big area. I might end up mixing up some more paints just because there's there's a lot of tomato area in here I need to cover uh, on those. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully I'll be able to do that between applications. Like, I hopefully I have enough paint to finish up this tomato. I think I do. And this is where our drawings are coming in. And you may consider some of the brush strokes, like I'm trying to make my brush strokes kind of rounded to follow the contour of the tomato itself. Mm -hmm. And this was a mixture of red and orange with a little, maybe a touch of yellow in it. It was mostly red and orange that we had. Here you can see that as I paint in, you can kind of see the graphite through that. So we're going to have to have it a little extra thick right in that location. There we go. My goal for this section is to make sure I get is to get this one tomato painted. We have two main front tomatoes. Okay. And with doing this part, you can kind of see the importance of mixing up your paints ahead of time uh, so that you're ready to go with that. Okay, now some of this stuff in here is like, well, where's the orange part back here? Well, there's a little bit right there that we see. There's a little dimple of it right in there. That's probably pretty good. And then the roundness of this tomato is coming here and so I'm to fold that over there maybe there's a little little triangle there oops 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 I got a little carried away there there's a little bit there and then finally there's a little bit of this this here and so now I put in the, the, once you get the reds in the top here, you can kind of see where the tomato, it start looks like a sphere, like a tomato. And so that's a little bit of the rounded part there. How cool is that? Okay. All right, let's do a little blending. I'm going to clean off my brush. Clean off the brush. Now we're going to paint along the seam between the two colors, the two values. Sorry, yeah. Rachel? Apparently not. Rachel! I don't, I don't no see her. Thank you. Okay. Now as I blend this together, the difficulty we start to see amongst the, that, that blending is I'm seeing a little bit of the, um, of, the, of the line between the two. I got to do a little bit of blending up here like that. And I think we're going to come back in and get a little more of this and try to put it right on here. 
right on the pencil line so I can't see the pencil line this is the coat number two and that's the darker value and so let's blend that in there so we can cover up our pencil lines there's a little bit more up here a little bit more pencil line that we see so let's cover that up a little bit Okay. Uh, let's clean out the brush a little I have also some little places in through here where we have a little bit of the stuff showing through okay so being able to put a second coat on top of that was kind of helpful when it came to um, covering up the pencil lines right on there like that okay so I'm looking that place was a little needed to be a little darker Now I have a little bit of that dark still on my, my brush and so I'm, I'm trying to just blend things together here a little bit. You got to look at it from the side because you, the oil paints uh, have that, that cool reflective quality and so we, we like that but we also can't see very well when it's right in our eyeballs. This is just a little bit of darker of the dark brown. I needed to make it a little darker right in the bottom area here to make it look a little more spherical. Okay, so it looks like I got most of that taken care of. Now I'm just going to kind of make sure I have things covered up here. When I come in with the green, I should be able to paint over the little bits that I might have. Like that. And so that's the bulk of the tomato-y part there. Looks like I have a little bit of a sharp edge right here. I'm going to get that. Okay. So I'm feeling pretty confident about that. Let's go to our next lightest value. On that one, that's our, our stunning light orange. Now remember when we have our five different values, that's, that's actually a pretty big shift, a change in value. So don't, don't, don't panic. We, we will we'll be blending those together. Let's paint right up to the pencil lines. Notice that they've been since they've been spray fixed, those pe that pencil is not getting into this really light, light, light uh, color. Okay, a little bit more right along the edge. like that okay so I got my orangey in there uh, the light orange let's clean off the brush once again and now we'll, we'll kind of paint along the seams the boundaries between it to blend those together blending one into the other take some of that light orange and this is real light I'm not pressing very hard on these blending these pieces together Trying to take some of that lighter color and have it diffuse out into here. Maybe we take some of that darker color, have it diffuse out. You'll notice that the, in mine anyway, because of the paint, the thickness of the paint, I do see that pencil line starting to show through just a little bit more. That's okay. 
We'll have to go back with a, another application of the of the paint to, to blend that in a little bit more. Okay, so I'm looking at this area here. We're looking at this area and how it's transitioning. Let's go back and get just a little bit of this. And so I can go over top of, for a second coat maybe, those, those pencil lines. And then blend that in here a little bit more. And we're just kind of tickling the edges on that one. Once again, a little bit of a pencil line right here. We want to just kind of put in a second coat on top of that so it covers up. Now when it dries or sets up just a little bit more, we can put even more if we're looking to cover that up. And then also here, just a little bit more of that so we don't see the pencil line. And since that is now a little thicker, let's expand that out a little bit. Take some of that lighter color out into the darker color. Now I wanted to look and see if I had any, as I'm looking up over here, there might be a little bit of light right on this edge right over here. And, and, and I'm, I'm going to put it here, you don't see it in this part, but I know that it's going to be there eventually because the tomato behind it is going to be darker. And so I'm going to make this part of my tomato here just a little bit lighter so that that other tomato will show up better. So that can be just that, that slightly lighter orange. I, I got a place here where I need to blend it a little bit more. On that, maybe uh, right there. Uh, and then maybe here, just little, a little dab of that, that lighter orange. And then let's blend it, brush off my brush, a little bit of blending, like that. Okay, there's a little bit of a sharp edge still right here. It's not blended really well, I'm going to go back and get that. Maybe a little bit right here. But our tomato starting to look kind of tomato-ish. Let's see if we can get some shadows in there. Oh, I'm starting to see it a little bit. Okie dokie, Smokey. Uh, last little bit on this tomato to finish it off is we did need to get the highlight in there, so I cleaned off my brush. I've got a little bit of white. Now I do have some residual paint in my brush. That is okay, because we don't necessarily need this to be pure white in the middle. It can have a little bit of red-orange to it. All right, clean off my brush, hopefully. And now, this is going to be a tougher blend. Blend between the white and the, um, and the orange. And we see, once again, we see a little bit of the pencil mark. Clean off my brush again to help blend that a little bit better. There we go. So let's put right in here, I'm going for that darker, uh, the, the, the light orange to cover up, cover up my pencil marks.
and just cover them up a little bit like that because I need them thick enough to cover up that that paint now I'm creating a little bit of a sharp edge again that's okay we're gonna take that out but we do need to make sure that my pencil lines are covered up and so that's covered up there let's let's go back I cleaned off my brush once again and lightly paint over the seam so hopefully I don't pick up too much of that those pencil marks I'm just gonna work my way around blending that in just a little bit let's go get um, clean off my brush again and in the middle section right here I'm to put in another coat of white so that I do get that stark white, bright white right in the middle yeah. Okay, and so now we have uh, the tomato in its different values as we come across there, which is pretty cool. Now, you'll notice that there are some yellowies in here, and so if I wanted to, which I do, got to find my yellow paint. And I'm just going to add some straight yellow in here. There we go. And the, the yellow is quite light in value. But I wanted to come in here and just within this area, maybe come and get a little bit of yellow light coming in and just brush in a little bit kind of on top And that's how you make some of the subtle adjustments because it's probably a, a yellowishy light coming in here. And so in, in, in this half tone area, this transition, let's put just a little bit of the yellow in there so we're adjusting for what light is in there as well as what color the local value is. And I think I'm trying to want to work a little bit with the brush strokes coming in here as well so that they'll blend into these areas here. So if I have brush strokes going this way, kind of radiating around these, they'll catch the light and it'll make it just a little bit more uniform to make the thing look rounded in and of itself. So taking the brush strokes and making them circular into here. 
even into this part maybe back over here taking those circular brush strokes oops I got a little bit too much paint on that guy huh Okay, so we have one tomato. How cool is that? One whole tomato. At least the, the orangey red part of the tomato on there. If there are other parts we want to go and we can touch up, we can do ahead, we can make some changes and that sort of a thing. But that was uh, the one part of the tomato. It took a little bit of time to paint, but that was pretty cool. Uh, we'll go on to other tomatoes in just a moment. 